Hello, this video is about The Water Cure by Sophie McIntosh. This came out in 2018 and it is about three sisters, Grace, Leah and Sasha. <laughs> it's about three sisters, Grace, Leah and Skye, my notes are right there, um, who live with their parents in, in a, like an abandoned hotel that's on an island somewhere and they're just completely isolated. Um, their father uh, has to go take a, a boat trip to the mainland um, to get supplies, like they get normal shop supplies um, every couple of weeks or months or something. And one time he doesn't come back um, and it's quite scary. And then these three other men like wash ashore and uh, yeah, it all kind of plays out from there. This is quite an odd book because it's kind of dystopian. Um, there's a, there's a lot of, of fear and it's mostly around men. Men are toxic and evil and if you touch them they it'll hurt you and the sea is poisonous and the uh, certain air is bad and in many ways like it can be read if you had your eyes mostly closed as like there is a terrible world and um, you know we're all fucked but what it actually is is cult masquerading as dystopia. So it's actually just a very controlling cult-like family where these three girls have been convinced that the, like the sea is poisonous for example um, and they have a lot of weird rituals like um, every year they they pick irons to decide which member of the family they're going to love the most the next year. Um, the girls do this thing where they're forced to hurt living animals to prove their love for each other. They have this thing called the drowning game where they put on like a heavy coat thing and um, like drown themselves in the pool and like only come up just at the very end um, for some sort of like purification ritual. So this is much more akin to the girls than it is Station Eleven to name two popular book examples. This is the kind of book that I'm supposed to love like it has everything in there that i'm meant to love um in the inside uh jacket where it has all the quotes um it's i underlined all of the books i mentioned lord of the flies which i think was great um the girls which i didn't actually like handmaid's tale which is fantastic and virgin suicides which is one of my favorite books um so i feel like it had all the elements that i was supposed to love but I really didn't like it, <laughs> um, mostly for, for two reasons. One is the gender politics in this I find really bizarre. Um, like one of the quotes on the back says an eerie uncanny feminist fable and I don't think it's feminist, I think it's misandrist. All of the men in it are bad. King, who is the patriarch of this family, is very much abusive. Um, and these three other men that come to the island are all very manipulative and um, sex obsessed and very flawed and all of the the girls, the three sisters, um, all like have this engendered hatred and fear of men. I couldn't read it as feminist because there was no redemption at all. For me it was it was about hatred of men more than it was about the power of women. And the other thing that stopped me from loving it is that I just didn't like any of the sisters. The middle child, Leah, was, I guess, the main character. Um, and she was so annoying and simpering and people-pleasing and none of them had any autonomy. They all relied on each other in a way that I find quite gross. Um, and they all had such, like, mummy issues. She's called Mother and it's all like, Mother, I'm so over books, have mother issues. You also don't find out until very near the end how old these girls are um, and they're basically like the eldest one's 30 and I don't think that's much of a spoiler but 30, 28 and then I think 16 and it's just they act like 14 year olds. I don't think they have any maturity because they've never had the chance, um, they've, yeah they've never been given the opportunity to actually think for themselves um, and I just found that all quite unappealing as a thing to read. One thing that I did really like about it though was this connection to environment. It was obviously built on a pack of lies but just having this kind of focus on how poisonous environment can be 
meant there was also a lot of focus on purification. So all of these rituals they go through are very cleansing and they feel it very physically and it's very evocative, I think, and also very visceral in the way that sometimes they're like, I'm feeling this feeling so I have to do this act in order to counteract this bad thing. Um, and I think it did have, like, that's the thing from The Virgin Suicide that I think is a, a good comparison, is that it's like if you're thinking about the world in a slightly different way, in a less objective, objects, objects, and in a, in a less, in less scientific way, I guess that's the way to put it, um, then everything has a potential to be a lot more mystical and intriguing. And I thought that was a really interesting thing about it. Um, but overall, yeah, wasn't a big fan. It annoyed me quite a lot. Um, let me know if you've read this book and disagree about specifically my points about the whole misandry feminism bit, because I'd like to hear some other opinions on that. Um, but yeah, not for me, but might be for you. Any book could be for you. Yay, goodbye.